Hi, today we are going to see this packet tracer activity a skills integration challenge. Here we can see our addressing table and coming to the objectives of this packet tracer activity, uh, finish the network documentation, then perform basic device configurations on a router and a switch, then verify connectivity and troubleshoot any issues. Here we can see the requirements of this uh, packet tracer activity. So provide the missing information in the addressing table. Uh, so here we can see this uh, default gateway informations are missing uh, for these devices such as class A, class B, student 1, student 2, student 3 and student 4. Yeah, it's really quite easy to find the default gateway of the devices. Uh, so here we can see the first device class A. Coming to our topology, here we can see its switch, class A. Uh, here we can see the interface VLAN 1 and the IP address given is 172.14.5.35. And here is a submit to mask. So we have to find the default gateway of this uh, VLAN, uh, I mean this uh, device class A. So we can see uh, this network is connected to this interface. Uh, it's a G0 slash 0, we can verify that. Yes, uh, to this server. Uh, college okay here we can see the ip address of this interface g0 slash 0 it's 172.14.5.1 so obviously the default gateway uh, for uh, all these devices in this network uh, will be uh, the same here is our addressing table i just copied into uh, our spreadsheet so here we can see the class a uh, uh, this de uh, default gateway uh, it's the IP address of this interface G0 slash 0 on this uh, rural uh, college. So we will uh, copy this address and we will paste it here. Okay. Also, we can see these two devices, uh, student 1 and student 2, uh, are also having the same uh, default gateway. So, student 1, here is that, and student 2. Right. Now we have to find IP address for class B. It's a switch. Okay. So coming to our topology, here we can see uh, class B switch. And here we can see this network is connected to uh, this interface that is uh, G0 slash 1 to this router col uh, college. Okay. Here we can see the IP address of this interface G0 slash 1. It's 172.14.10.1. So this will be the default gateway for all these devices in this network. That is class B, student 3 and student 4. We will update our spreadsheet. We will copy this IP address. And coming to class B, VLAN 1, default gateway is here. And coming to student 3 and student 4, here is the default gateway address. Next is a name the rural college and the second switch class B. You will not be able to access class A. That can be done. So coming to the rural college CLI. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to give the host name uh, as specified. So here we can see it's a college. Okay, right. So now we will go to uh, class B switch CLI. Enable configure terminal. We will set the host name as class B. And we will try to access the switch class A. Already they mentioned uh, we will not be able to access class A. We will try to access it. Okay, configure uh, is locked. Okay. Next is uh, use the Cisco as the user exit password for all lines. Okay, first of all, we will do it on this router college. Configure terminal, we will go to line console 0 and we will set the password as specified Cisco 
then login now we will exit and we will go to line vty uh, 0 to 15 all the lines password as cisco then we will login now we will go to this uh, switch class b configure terminal line console 0 we will set the password as cisco then login we will exit and we will go to line vty uh, 0 to 15 all the lines we will set the password as cisco login next is a use class as the privileged exit password so here actually we have to give we have to enable a secret password if you enable a password uh, i mean this plain text password uh, we can see this completion status won't be interpreted so we have to uh, give a enable a secret password first of all we will uh, give it on this aurora college configure terminal then we will enable secret as class coming to this uh, switch class b configure terminal we will enable secret as class next is encrypt all plain text passwords okay coming to college here we will give uh, service password encryption same command can be used on this uh, switch service password encryption next one is to configure an appropriate banner MOTD okay uh, coming to college we'll give a banner MOTD delimiter we will give a warning access is prohibited we will enter with the same delimiter coming to switch banner MOTD prohibited next is configure addressing for all devices according to the addressing table okay uh, so <coughs> here we can see our addressing table here is our updated addressing table coming to these uh, entity devices we will see the address here we can see uh, the con they configured already IP address submit to mask and uh, now here we have to configure the default gateway is the IP address of this interface G0 slash 0 on this uh, device uh, college so we will copy this address and here is our default gateway and to coming to student 2 desktop IP configuration here also the same default gateway now we will uh, check these uh, two PCs student 3 and student 4 this is the default uh, gateway address uh, for uh, this network We will already open this uh, PC student 4 and coming to IP configuration. So here we can see as per our addressing table uh, for this uh, device student 4, uh, we have to use 172.14.10.60. But here we can see they configured incorrectly. Uh, so we will correct it. 
instead of 5 here we have to use a 10 now we will verify uh, our switch class b cli okay here we are going to give the show command show running config and here we can see uh, interface vlan 1 no ip address set okay so we have to set ip address uh, for uh, this uh, vlan 1 for the device class b coming to the configuration configure terminal we will go to the interface uh, vlan 1 and we will set the ip address here we can see the ip address of class b we will copy this address and here we can see the subnet mask no shutdown we will exit and we will set default gateway for this class b switch that is the ip address of this interface g0 slash 1 here we can see that interface correct we have to give the command ip default gateway here is the address now we will go to our router that is college cli we will verify this router by giving show ip interface brief and here we can see the interfaces g0 slash 0 and g0 slash 1 ip address not assigned status and protocol both are down so we will configure it first of all we will configure the interface g0 slash 0 here we can see the ip address uh, and the submit mask configure terminal we will go to that interface that is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 then we will set the ip address as per our addressing table here is that then we will give the submit mask 255.255.255.0 then we will give a no shut command oh here we can see our interface g0 slash 0 is up now now we will configure a g0 slash 1 uh, so coming to our addressing table here we can see the ip address uh, also submit mask coming to this ruler we will exit and we will go to the interface g0 slash 1 and we will set the ip address here is the address then the submit the mask and we will give an usher down next is a document interfaces with the descriptions including the class b vlan 1 interface okay here anyways we did not set any descriptions uh, for uh, these uh, interfaces uh, including this uh, uh, class b vlan 1 interface we will give for this uh, uh, class b vlan 1 interface configure terminal we will go to the interface vlan 1 and here we can uh, set the description we will give okay save your configurations uh, on this uh, college and class b so we'll give a copy running config startup config then coming to class b uh, copy running config startup config finally verify connectivity between all devices all devices should be able to ping any other uh, devices so we will get the ip address of uh, this pc4 and we will uh, ping from student 1 
we get the replies we'll get the IP address of student 3 we will ping from student 2 it's working next is uh, troubleshoot and document any issues so uh, we done uh, everything correctly uh, implement the solutions necessary to enable and verify full end-to-end -end connectivity also they given a note here uh, click check results button to see your progress click the reset activity button to generate a new set of requirements uh, so if you go to this reset activity uh, we will get uh, other requirements it may change these uh, names uh, maybe these passwords or these IP addresses so whatever activity you get uh, the same way uh, in same pattern we have to configure it only we make sure that uh, we are configuring as per uh, the details the requirements what they given here also we can go to this uh, check results and we can verify uh, the result go to assessment items and here we can verify uh, whatever completed if it is not completed uh, it will uh, uh, show cross mark okay just close this window so that we can come back and uh, here we can see our completion status uh, now uh, here it shows a hundred out of hundred so we will try to reset this activity so all unsaved changes will be lost reset activity okay so we will uh, see uh, some other activities with the other requirements here we can see uh, another one all IP addresses are changed and here we can see the name uh, names of the devices uh, given RTA ASW-2 password shows same right and here we can see the ID it's uh, uh, 222 again we will reset this activity okay here we can see its ID is 200 we can see uh, the changes here uh, here I am no, not going to uh, solve all the set of requirements because if you get any uh, requirements uh, you can refer uh, this video and you can do it very easily so dear friends if you have any doubt uh, in any requirements uh, please comment below and consider subscribing for future videos thank you